Joanne, this has been anticipated for days. It was required by the new emergency manager law, and it spells out the powers of the mayor with the emergency manager running things here at Detroit City Hall. He says the mayor and city council can continue proceedings, can continue administration of city services, but ordinances, resolutions, contracts, permits, terminations must be approved by the emergency manager or his designee in writing. Now, this morning it was all about Mayor Dave Bing's proposed budget to City Council. Take a look. I can give you an overview. It's a $1 billion budget. He's talking about the accumulated deficit will grow, you can see, by $53 million. But here's the biggie. City Council staff reduced to one each. They have between four and eight right now for council members plus other support staff. That would be a $4 million cut. He wants to fill 40 EMS positions, says they have the money to do that right now. Much needed for public safety in the city. They will not fill open positions, including 28 civilian positions in the police department and 20 firefighter positions will not be filled. City staff cuts 10,400 down to 9,800. Employee pensions, health care costs still account for one third of the city budget overall. The mayor says it's time to cut duplication in favor of public safety. Consolidate those functions and then I think they can pull they need a lawyer, take a lawyer. If they need an, uh, uh, a finance person, take a finance person. But each council member does not need their own staff for all of those functions. So even with the emergency manager, this budget process will proceed as it normally would. Council has set aside all next week to go over it. They'll vote on it. They could uh, disprove some parts. Mayor Bing could then veto some of that. Council could vote to override. Ultimately, though, this will be several weeks in the process. Joanne?